Check that out, check that out, huh? Don't you just love the view down here in Florida, man? These waters in Miami, bro, clear. Sometimes you can see the parrotfish, angelfish, different colors, just swimming down here. And this fish cracks right over here, man, they hold a plethora of different exotic reef species. You all know what we're going to do today, man. We're going to work this entire area. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to explore this little opening right here, right? If you've been here for a while, you know that I've shot plenty of YouTube videos around this area in the past. We may cast around the channel and see what shows up. But before we do any of that, there are two things that I would like to briefly talk about on this YouTube video, okay? Give me three minutes, four minutes of your lifetime, all right, man? First and foremost, if you've been watching the series on the YouTube channel, the Saltwater Miami series, and you kind of feel like the mood hasn't really been the best, I would like to emphasize that it is not like I am unhappy or dissatisfied. This trip has been banging so far, okay? The problem is I've been fishing from sunrise to sunset every day, right? On and off camera, I've been reserving 50% of the day for you folks shooting YouTube videos and 50% of the day for the inner circle, just posting contents on Instagram. Man, after three, four days, bro, you start walking like you're 60 years old, you know? Shoulders are sore, arms are sore, legs are sore. You know it is bad, bro, when even las nalgas, you feel me? It's sore. I know it sounds bad to say this, man, but when your ass is hurting, bro, that's when you know it's the real deal. That being said, let me give you all some statistics of what has been happening so far, okay? This is my seventh day fishing down here, and we have caught 531 fishes on hook and line. Let that sink in since i've come down here okay 48 different species of fish for 11 lifers the lifers they were truly a bonus since the main objective was really to come down here and just gather a lot of footage right so that you folks have things to watch out there while i'm going on other fishing trips so we are currently at 78 for the 2023 species marathon and the main objective of today Need I say more, right? We're going to see if anything different or anything new is going to show up. <laughs> Running out of size 10 hooks too. Already run out of size 18 hooks. That is great. I brought 50 size 18 hooks down to this fishing trip, man. I used all of them. So you can imagine the amount of snags that I've gotten out there. And the amount of hooks that I lost to fish, right? The puffers and the parrot and everything else. They got teeth down here too. So sometimes you put your bait, you put your size 18 hook inside the little rock. You never really know what is going to show up, right? Man, go back home. I need to get those size 18 hooks ASAP because I'm going to Brazil in February. And if I don't have those size 18 hooks for the micros, it's going to be extremely, extremely troublesome. Oh, by the way, that entire Brazil trip is going to be covered via Inner Circle 2, just so you all know. All right, you know what, man? Let's go strong and put a size 2 sinker over here. I'm going to cast the big rod in the channel first and see what is going on. Well, I can tell you all that the day is starting a very interesting way. Day number 7 down here in Miami. I'm not exactly sure where everything went wrong, but... This GoPro is actually glitching a little bit when it comes to recording videos. I just recorded myself catching a very cool species and somehow the clip just glitched on me. Regardless, it is still in the bucket, so check it out, huh? We're starting the day with two very distinct species of fish. We got ourselves here our first fish of the day here, which was just a silver mohara, right? The Eusinostomus. Argenteus. I'm just going to let that one go because today we are not really targeting snook. This one right over here is the real cool one, huh? Check that out. Look at the big wings on the side that makes it look like a moth. 
it is a type of sea robbing and this one as a matter of fact was a lifer for me just the other day down here in miami too it's called a black wing sea robbing the prionotus rubio right look at the size of those things over there no joke right this is what we come down here for look at that thing right over there you tell me if it ain't a beautiful fish right so yeah I'm very happy actually that I was able to catch one of these on camera because I don't know how common they are really down here. I'm gonna put this one back over here. Boom! Check it out. Swimming away beautiful like that. Caught it in the middle of the channel. So, you know, this is the kind of day that this is going to be, right? Two species to start. That one was a real beautiful one. Hopefully something even more exotic is going to show up for you all before noon, huh? easy now take it easy that sea robin came all the way from the middle of the channel that's what we're getting started with middle of the channel though there is a lot of the floating sargassum around here got a hit already fish is on boy but all the sargassum though hopefully it doesn't get off that's what i really like about this fishing spot the channel over here is actually pretty deep and there's a oh dude what is that oh my lord that looks exotic that looks real exotic that is sargassum plus dude it's not exotic at all bro it's a sand perch look at that huh the plectrum formosum pretty nice size sand perch too still looking for its cousin right the dwarf sand perch this one kind of added for 2023 already all right take it easy big fella take it easy well as the name implies right sand perch kind of makes sense because the channel out there is all sand so boom that's where the sea robin came from too gotta take a few nice photos of this fella and let it go there we have it huh easy now sand perch it's eager to go it's your lucky day bro that i'm no eating no fish down here i actually hear that this particular species is delicious so if i have ever eaten that before let me know in the comment section below all right because i've never tried maybe one of these days you know come down here to florida right never know well all right time to change the water over here again and keep casting there's definitely some file fish out there or something like that i'm throwing pieces of a squid down in the middle of the channel dude they're disappearing and i'm not even getting like a tiny bite that's when you know there are some exotics man sometimes a box fish file fish just nibbling on your bait professional nibblers you barely feel the bite just like Tunk! and then your squid is gone Oh, there we have it. There we go. May have some sargassum here too, but there's a fish. Oh, did it get off? Oh no, it's still on, it's still on. Dude, they're biting all the way to the middle of the channel. What is that? What is this? Oh, bro. Oh, yes, bro. Oh, yes, today is the day. Today is the day. What is that, bro? Well, definitely a flatfish, uh, a flounder of some sorts. Two dots on its body, one in front, one at the back. Eyes not that separated. No striations at the back. I'm thinking channel flounder. You folks can correct me if I'm wrong, but this one I actually need to double check. So for now, I'm going to unhook this dude. We're going to take a few photos, but this one's a new one for 2023, number 70 nine oh make sure it doesn't get out of the bucket dude channel flounder 
that's why I love this particular fishing spot ladies and gentlemen because you cast out there in the channel it is super deep right over here right it's called the Meloy channel you just never know what type of exotics are going to show up from the depths of the channel black wing sea robin that was a pretty cool one and now we got this channel flounder bro if you watch the previous youtube videos here on the channel you know that i have come to this spot previously and i have caught channel flounder over here right i'm leaving some photos over here if you think that the id on this fella is wrong you just let me know okay that being said it is time to release this fella let it go so that it can swim another day very delicious species of fish but look at that just like the dude went down dude went down the rock squid for the win man everything likes eating the little squid very good day so far very good day species number 79 for 2023 they don't bite all the time but you know there there's some fish right around here oh i see do you have like a bigger a bigger sinker no oh i see i see here bro here bro put one of these on yeah oh no you need uh you need like a bigger yeah bigger bigger grande yeah so you put this one on bro yeah get get one bro get get here bro take it bro uh-huh i first i see your put i see oh the the you mean put the hook uh -huh. oh bro you can put it any any way you want here let me show you look you just put a tiny little piece That's little. yeah it is little it's little man and usually how you do it is the best way is just to put it like on the hook like this and just cover the entire thing like that. I think you could fish the ball out the water for me. Ooh, dude, it's round. Yeah, I can't, bro. No way. No way. If it wasn't round, I can I can snag it. But it's round, dude. You if can't I even net it. <sighs> my net is so tiny, it only reaches like right here. So if the ball floats close, close I can I can net it up. Yeah, but if it doesn't, yeah, let me try to get his ball over there. But yeah, just like that. Little, yeah. Get get the calamar, bro. Try it out. I hope so, man. I hope so. The guy's playing hard, huh? That's good, though. Good exercise, man. We gotta, we gotta find a better angle. <laughs> All right, dude. Let me, let me, let me see here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, dude. Gratitude brings magnitude and every You good, right? Yes, sir. All right, that's what's up, bro. Thank you, Hey, no problem, bro. Two times. Thank you, two times. Hey, man, we gotta do everything we can so we can keep playing soccer. You know, yes, man. Yes, that's what's yes. up. Enjoy. Dude, having a net, man, has its purposes. You know. That is what's up. Yeah, bro, ca cast in the channel. Yeah, try it out. You got the bigger sinker, right? Ma uh, ma grande. Yeah, good. Yeah, cast it out, bro. Hey, that's what's up, Juan. See that? Yeah, a little, uh, what is that? Mohara, right? Yeah, it's called uh, Mohara. Yeah, a little Mohara. Yeah, <laughs> see? That's good, man. If you need more calamar, right here, okay? Calamar. Yeah. If you need more, right here, bro. Feel free to get it. That's what fishing is all about, bro. Different cultures, different people, but all the same experience of joy of catching fish. Not bad, not bad. The morning is going pretty good so far. It is 9.55 a.m. right now. I still have about two hours before I go out there and grab myself some lunch. The tide is going right now. And soon over here, 
this channel is going to become very very turbulent right it is going to rip so fast that two ounces the two ounces sinker over here will not be able to hold out there anymore but you know what this is what i really like about live listing right working different types of environments to our advantage now that the tide is going to begin ripping it is time to switch to the ultralight size 18 well i run out of size 18 hooks so size 22 hooks and we're going to punch you know little pieces of bait right just along the rocks over here for exotics until the tide calms down again that is going to be at the end of the tide when it's approaching slack so that we can cast the two ounces out there again right for a different species of fish so as you can see there's a lot of science involved in all the stuff right that is why i really like this channel in particular okay you have to time it right but when you come over here when the time is right man no boats around this area pass in front of our fishing lines very few people fish around here because there's a pier right over there that everyone likes you know it's it's just perfect all right size 22 little pieces of squid let's see if anything exotic will show up from the rocks tiny little piece of squid on a 22 there you go always stream my bait right the mouth of the fishes that we're trying to catch they are very very small you know think of this stuff as micro dog fishing that's exactly what we're doing you know we're pretty much just sticking our stuff here in different holes right and uh you know don't take me wrong i love the channel with all my heart but i am a sucker for a nice juicy hole and the thing with togging as you folks know and micro rock punching is that when you find a nice deep productive hole dude ladies and gentlemen it is bliss you can pull so many different species from out of it so all right let me put the angle down there we go and let's start punching some of these oh it's going got something from the hole dude oh you've got to be kidding me bro you've got to be kidding me this has got to be the lucky catch of the day <laughs> bro first dip into the hole bro this was a lifer for me just the other day but this is a pretty exotic one for down here in florida it is a butter hamlet yeah it was a lifer for me i think two or three days ago at the baker's haul over inlet check how beautiful this is. look at the blue on its eye how it circles around dude this is art right over here you see what i'm saying do you find a productive hole bro one tiny piece oh let, let me hook outside of the camera because youtube guidelines you know one tiny piece of squid size 22 hook bro that's all you need that's all you need butter hamlet all right shakespeare it is time for you to go butter hamlet's probably thinking dude what is this new dimension that I am in, right? <laughs> Why am I swimming in circles over here? And what is this giant going to do to me? That is gorgeous. Not very common, not very common down here from shore in Florida. So that one was definitely big bonus. That is the hole right over there. I will pinpoint it to you. That is the hole right there. It goes super deep all the way down think of your line as an elevator right you put your line in there all the way down and there are different floors you lift it up little by little and sometimes you hit a rock crack right in between the rocks and the fish just comes out of the apartment and whoop that's why when you do this kind of fishing you never just leave your line all the way down there and do nothing you will catch fish but you lift it up little by little going through the different floors ding 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 right until you hit the right one the fish comes out from the crack and slurp it juicy hole right there that's it that's it man no 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 yeah i know you can go deeper than that we can go deeper than that come on bro punch it oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah, oh, oh, yeah dude we're dipping there now yes sir yes sir and I think I had a hit all the way down there too. Bro, that is what's up, man.
Dude, it's still going deeper. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. From the depths. Oh, dude, that's when you know you hit bottom over there. The grunts, they're usually all the way down. This is a white grunt, right? Hyamulon Plumieri. That's when you know, bro. Yeah, that's a good hole right there, dude. We hit all the way down there. Hmm, I just shot a four minutes outro over here. But I tell you what, if you are seeing this right now, that means that I went back to Philly, went through the footage, and the first outro was glitched, which kind of sucks because I caught a bunch of dusky denzel fish, the Istegastes adustus, right? And I wanted to show you all in the bucket and everything, did a nice release, and then it turns out the thing may have glitched. These GoPros are supposed to be waterproof, you know? But when you hit the salt seven days in a row, I guess the salt does does give it a little bit of hypertension, huh? All right, that being said, all right, that being said, we are approaching lunch. The numbers are over there. I think that today, January 23rd, is going to be the day that we're going to hit quadruple numbers for 2023 fishes caught on hook and line i'm currently a 900 you know what i'm saying i mean 100 fish before the end of the day oh yeah we'll be able to pull it out of here without a problem you know but for now i'm gonna go get some lunch as always listen if there are any species in the list over here that you folks didn't really get to see in this youtube video that means that those species were caught afterwards right and they were portrayed to the inner circle I'm reserving 50% for the open public, okay, shooting the YouTube videos, 50% for the open public, I mean, for the inner circle, who's paying $6 a month, right, for the contents on Instagram. All right, this is it for this morning, time to get something to eat, I'll see you folks next time, I hope that you enjoyed this Miami series, all right, it was a blast shooting these videos for you all. Not to mention that I really like the environment down here, I'll tell you that. Love the people, love the different cultures. Oh man, all kind of Latinas down here, every country, bro. Every country, you name it, bro. Venezuela, Colombia, Argentina, Cuba, ooh, bro. Only thing I don't like about Miami, the traffic. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> all right, I'll see you all next time. Hopefully this one won't glitch on me. Tie lines. And take it easy.